All right, so make sure your nut is secured in the nut cup. The nut faces down. This will be down because that's where the pulley goes on. So I'll go ahead and thread these on first. I've already, we always check these for being straight before we send them out, so. I always thread it up about an inch and a half. Put thread locker on these. So you're going to put thread locker on the set screw. got two flats on here. You want about 35 to 40 thousandths. Of that shoulder sticking out. This is medium strength thread locker. There's no need to use the high strength because if something happens, you'll never get it apart without heat or have to drill the set screws out. This is tough enough to get apart. So try to do it right when you put it together. Wipe off the excess thread locker. So I've got both my pulleys pretty much hanging out the same, and now I'm going to grease it up. So I just lay a little bead all the way down, and I stop about three inches from the top. So now I'm going to spread the grease. So that's pretty much what you want. A nice even coat all the way up and down. Not excessive. You know, there's not an excessive amount hanging out of the nut. A little bit in the nut cup, that's what you want. Place your upper bearing on there. It just slides on so. So you got the pulley, the nut cup, the upper bearing block. And so you need to have your uh, Z motors in first. 
because the pulley on the Z motor is so close to the bottom rail that you can't get the belt in there. So I need to go put those on before I install these. I, I tend to the reiterate. Motor connector faces the rear. Okay, so it's going to go right here. Some M5 so, our, our so you want to mount your belt first? Just hold it on with your fingers. So you want to still leave it to where it'll slide back and forth so you can adjust the belt later. But I push it all the way forward. I make sure the belt's on the pulley and then I kind of hang it on the bearing so that I can come in and put my Z-Rod. So I'm going to go grab the Z-Rod real quick. So we still need to align the bearing. Got this printed tool right here. I'm going to go ahead and put my two screws in the upper bearing cup too. And because of these thin walls, I'm going to turn on my, my single layer only view. And these are going to be left loose until you cycle the bed assembly. So I will screw them all the way in and then back them out about a quarter of a turn. Or less concerned with is that thick wall here. All right, gonna I'm going to make sure these are loose. What that's going to tend to do with such a wall, here's my printed wall, it's going to tend to walk a little bit and it's going to it's kind of kind of bow and warp it just a little bit. And All right, so it fits pretty good. One is you can set the extruder to extrude a that easy? larger amount of material. I'm going to go to my process setting, and the extrusion width is set to auto right now. If I set that to manual, and I bump that up to say point Now to adjust the belt, make sure it's engaged in the pulleys, and you just slide it back. Down through my layer. Do you see that gap up a little bit? It's not fully closed. That's about right. Good. So I'll give it a final snug. That's it. Same for the other side. Tighten up the motor. Yeah. 
That's it. You might have to use a little uh, 